Hello and welcome to Silverstone. It's slightly cold, but I'm excited because this weekend I'm racing in the Bronpan GT3 Championship in Van. The McLaren 650S GT3 car run by Garage 59. My teammates, Alex West and Chris Goodwin, the McLaren factory test driver. Um, we're going to do Spa 24 hours later in the year as well. I'm a very lucky boy. So today is all about getting to know the car a bit. I've not driven this car before. It's a bit engine, a bit different than what I'm used to, but I'm very, very excited. And I've just done five laps and it is mapping quick. First up was the Saturday test. We ended up middle of the AM class with Chris the quickest in the car, but we had a few setup tweaks to make for the following morning. So that was the end of uh, what they call pre-qualifying, which is the final test. So it's qualifying tomorrow, which is three 15-minute sessions, one for each driver. How did that go? We ran worn tyres, just one set of tyres today. So they've done equipment with double stint, which is harsh on any Pirelli, but especially harsh here. And I feel we did an all right job, you know. We've got to manage our expectations, we've got to try and do well in our class, not get too worried by the pro drivers. I like to get a car set up on old tyres, and it feels great on old tyres, it then bungs a new one on you, have that lovely eureka moment when the, the fresh rubber keys into the asphalt, and you think, oh, this is amazing, so I'm hoping that happens tomorrow. But I'm racing the McLaren, so I kind of don't really care either way. Alex went first, and because there's no refueling allowed, he had the heaviest car. Even so, he finished P1 in class and said the car felt pretty good. I went next and managed to get stuck behind the Lamborghini for my two flying laps, but was still P1 in class. Now this is perhaps a little unfair on Mr Goodwin, because despite being our quickest driver, he was also up against some very fast AM drivers in cars whose balance of performance was more suitable to Silverstone. He got down to a mid-202 second lap, but ended up third in class, which was actually still a great result for our first event. And anyhow, in the AM class, where you qualify doesn't really matter. The aim here is to finish the race, not get caught up in some testosterone fight at the sharp end and last two laps. This is, after all, a three-hour endurance race for three drivers. We're in good shape. I know we're starting, I think, 50th, which doesn't look great on the, uh, on the timing sheet. But we're an AM car, we can't expect to beat the pro drivers, the best grid in the world. Um, but across the three drivers, I think we've got good pace. So there is one very fast driver in one of the AM Ferraris called David Perel, who was my teammate at Spa 24 last year, so I know how good he is. But I'm not sure these other two guys can stay with him. So hopefully, over the three drivers, I think we're in good shape. Car felt good to me. Um, I was just stuck behind a couple of in qualifying, but it doesn't worry me. Stay calm, stay out of trouble at the beginning of the race. Give 50-50 balls to the other person so you don't get in trouble. Um, and spend as little time in the pits as possible, and then we might have a chance of a result. start and Silverstone was sunny and beautiful and the grid of 55 cars with us 50th looked spectacular. And then, yes, a flat battery stranded Alex on the grid. He had to be pushed into the pit lane to start from there, which would have left us a lap down. But you can always count on the pro drivers to misbehave, and they duly made a mess of the rolling start and had to complete another green flag lap, which allowed Alex to catch up with the back.
we were back in the race. So not quite the start we expected or necessarily wanted. Uh, we had a flat battery on the start line, so we had to start from the pit lane. And there was an extra formation lap, so that confused the marshals as to whether they can let us out, but they did. And it's got to the back of the pack. And the best news so far, that in the first section of the race, Alex West went purple. That will probably never happen to us again this season. So we're currently having a glass of champagne at the back. Alex wasn't wasting time. After a few laps, he was up to 46 and making more moves. Then he held P2 in class, admittedly a long way behind David Perel in the Kessel Ferrari, but he was close enough to let myself and Chris catch David's teammates later in the race. If he could keep this up, we were looking at a class win. And then this happened. Which was pretty shoddy really, bashed from the rear by a Mercedes, which then whacked the front for good measure. The right rear was punctured and by the time Alex got back to the pits and the team had done a great job of changing the nose, we lost over 10 minutes. Don't say anything, just get back out there and get some laps under your belt. You know you were powerful in the first sector. <laughs> you could not have done that better. Alex went back out but his times were slower so it was clear the car wasn't right. Before the race, Blancpain boss Stefan Rattel told all drivers that if you ruin someone else's race, we will ruin your race. Accordingly, Mercedes number 32 served a five-minute drive-through penalty. That must be the longest punishment I've ever seen at a motor race. But it still didn't give us our race back. That's big. That is big. I've got to get in the car, but we've been hit once and sent off, then we've been hit again. Big shunt for a pro McLaren, and now I've got to put my lid on, so yeah. It's a bit too eventful this, but it's a warm-up race, we're not worrying about it. Yeah, if all goes to plan, I'm going to look at getting you in approximately eight minutes. several laps off the back of the race and couldn't really do much. The front was so badly damaged I had no front downforce and was losing vast amounts of time in the quick turns. And Silverstone is full of quick turns. In 
the last few laps of my stint, the car began to understeer wildly through the left-handers, at which point the main noise in the car was me whining like a child down the radio. Sorry, team. I pitted, and there was fluid down the side of the car where a radiator had been knocked by the Merc. Fluid had been dripping onto the right front tyre, and we had to retire the car, which was hugely frustrating. wanted uh, after my stint second stint we've retired the car it sustained so much damage in that hit from the mercedes no fault of alex's uh, so we've retired it there was too much damage at the front i couldn't really maintain any high speed error that's my excuse anyway so uh, look it was a test race to prepare us for the spa 24 hours and in that we've had a flat battery we've had someone hit us we've had body damage the team has worked brilliantly so i think as a way of exercising all of the potential problems might come about at Spa. This has been a successful weekend. We'd love to have finished. I love racing this car. It's going to happen again soon. This was really a test outing for the Spa 24 hours and we actually learned a lot about the car, the drivers and the competitors to avoid when we get to Belgium.